Hey guys, Kara City here with another video. This time it's going to be another Asus Switch update. This is where I look at switches that are only available in Gadgetpon or Candy Toy form. So up for a look today are number 27, the screw switch, and number 28, the hand switch. So first we have number 27, screw. This is a triangle switch with a carrot orange color to it. And you got the sticker here with number 27 and a propeller in the background with some air bubbles as well. You've got the activation switch which is a three-bladed fan of sorts with an arrow indicating to rotate it this way similarly to the drill switch and it activates similar to the drill switch as well just rotate like this until it clicks into place and then click it back to turn it off there's that secondly is number 28 hand this is a cross switch with a kind of a periwinkle purple color and here's the, well, here's the sticker. It's got number 28 with an arm and hand kind of bent up to fit inside, as you can see right there. And both of these have the glittery Gadgetpon metallic sticker, as well as no barcode on the back or QC code like the candy toys. And to activate this one, it's interesting because the activation switch is actually this small black button right back here. The interesting part comes when you actually press it down. To activate it, you just press down the switch. And this little hand of sorts pops outwards. So you can see the part underneath it. And that's actually pretty cool. It's fun to kind of play around with. You just put it back into place to switch it off. And the hand itself does have lines molded in to separate the different fingers and the thumb. So, now we can bring in the Forza driver. Just zoom out a little bit. Do the shortcut. So, starting with the screw. Take out drill and put it in and switch it on. So, since it's a gadget upon the switch, it makes the generic triangle switch socket noise. And that equips Forza with the screw module, attaching a corkscrew propeller to his left leg that lets him swim fast through water. So that's where the screw part comes from, corkscrew. And it it's a little bit of a strange name to it, but you know, some of the switches just kinda of have strange names because the Japanese don't have a kind of a same comprehension of English as well, people who don't speak countries who speak English more. In other words, they kinda of use some strange terms to refer to certain objects using borrowed words. Anyway, switching that off. I'm taking out launcher to put in hand. And switch it on. And since it's all since this as well as a gadget upon switch, it makes the generic cross socket noise. And that attaches the hand module to Forza's right leg, equipping him with a kind of a third arm that is very dexterous and can do other tasks while he's using his two hands for other things. It hasn't actually been used in combat so far, just been used to kind of demonstrate what it can do. But it can act as a third hand and from what's seen in the combat ride machine, it can kind of give a punch to his kick if that makes any sense. So also switching on screw. Just for fun we can do a limit break. So now switching those off. And putting back the others. Switching it off. So 
So, there you have it. Two more switches for your collection. These two are nice, they have some nice colors. The thing about these two is that this one hand was released in a set before this one. This was released in the same set as the wheel switch. But this one wasn't released until the most recent capsule switch set. So I couldn't get this for quite a bit, and I just recently got it, so that's why these two kind of took so long to get to. But still, they're nice switches, and hand is actually pretty fun, because it's actually pretty unique in what it does. Having the switch, the actual activation switch, kind of activates something else, rather than the gimmick being just switch itself. And Squizzle's got a pretty nice design to it. It looks quite nice, but it, it is just a little bit plain. Still, if you're collecting all switches, these two are necessary, so... If you can find them in Gadgetmon form for cheap, go for it. <coughs> so, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.